New tonight at 530, higher cancer rates in military pilots and in ground crews. A year-long study looked at about a million service members between 1992 and 2017, and it found a higher incidence of cancer of those who flew and worked on aircrafts. On your side, Brianna Ray Turner breaks down that data, and she talked with a Navy pilot veteran who says the report does not surprise him. This has been a known problem for decades. And so I'm, I'm a bit surprised that it's taken the Pentagon this long to acknowledge the issue and actually to start do some studies. Sean Cronin is an aviation law attorney and retired Navy pilot. He worked at Naval Air Station Jacksonville as a Naval Aviation Safety Officer. His job was to track and maintain the chemical exposure of individuals. It's well known in the military communities that aviation uh, personnel are exposed to a lot of chemicals that are known carcinogens. So this idea that now they're going to go back and look to see what carcinogens uh, people are exposed to is is a bit disingenuous. The Pentagon study shows that compared to the U.S. population after adjusting for age, sex and race, air crew had an 87 percent higher rate of melanoma. 39% higher rate of thyroid cancer, 16% higher rate of prostate cancer, and a 24% higher rate of cancer for all sites. Ground crew members had higher rate of brain and nervous system cancers, 15% higher rate of thyroid cancer, and 9% higher rate of melanoma, kidney, and renal cancers. We try to limit the exposures to the chemicals as, as much as possible, but there are exposures that you just can't prevent, particularly in a uh, naval um, aircraft carrier environment. Uh, these chemicals are everywhere. The, the jet fuel is everywhere. The fumes are everywhere. So there are some risks associated with all of this. The report says that the number of cancer cases could likely be higher due to the gaps in the data, but they are currently working to fill those gaps. The Pentagon is also working on a bigger study to try and figure out the reason to why the crews are getting sick. In Jacksonville, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News, on your side.